Video is here to stay forever. It's gonna be in every call, every business meeting. It's gonna be at every event, and it's gonna be on every social media platform forever. Everything is gonna be broken down to its base components and slice and dice to meet the needs of the content team. Are you not just camera ready, but are you format ready? There's a few simple tricks that you can learn to automatically up your game and stand out in the crowd. I'm Brady Gilman, and this is The Compass Tower. In a lot of the legal world, they call this business development. And what you're really doing is, are you being helpful? Are you being friendly? Are you actually providing content to the people who want to hear it? Because people see lawyers as the trusted voice. They should know, right? They do know. They know how to get things done because they know the system. So having, let's say, a video format, well, you're going to see me. You're going to see my personality. You're going to see, like, you know what? I could work with that person. That person really knows what they're doing. Or if it's an audio format, like a podcast or maybe some quick audio snippets on a social media platform, hearing somebody's voice is very intimate. It feels like you're getting closer and you're knowing them. And I recently read a statistic that it takes about seven hours of close contact for someone to finally feel like they can trust you. And if you're producing media content, audio, video, social media posts, where you're actually being authentic with yourself and with the audience, those all add up and count towards that seven hours. So let's say um, I have a professional services firm. I provide a very specific professional services service if i want to gain customers and keep customers even retain customers by producing this kind of content video and audio uh, formats you're going to maintain that seven hours of building trust all the time and even if people don't listen to it you know it's not about numbers we're not attracting sheep you know it's about offering the opportunity to connect with somebody And what happens is the more opportunities that you offer them, they're more likely to participate. You know, maybe the the topic creeps up that's like, oh, that's interesting. I want to listen to that. I want to watch it. I want to see what's going on. Or if I see a topic that maybe doesn't interest me too many times, you know, I'm going to distance myself because now the thing that I thought I was going to be consuming is now not something I'm interested in. So being able to quickly know all the final formats, knowing how this is being distributed and redistributed again and again and again across the internet will build your trust, gain your client's trust, and will also allow to deliver better, more customized, and more interesting content so that that trust relationship, that business development relationship will continue to grow even regardless of your presence, right? So a lot of these things live on forever and ever. And that allows you to create this large footprint of trust that people can delve into. So maybe this episode isn't for you. That's okay. There's 10 more down the line that I've already recorded that you may be interested in. And you can go watch and participate and enjoy and share that I've already done. I've done all the work. I've made that investment into my career, into my clients. And they can always go back to that. And the best part is that it lives on forever and builds and builds and builds. So think of all of these interactions as building trust. It's not about, I need to make a video. I need to be cool on TikTok. No, it's about investing in the relationships and the ongoing content pool of trust that people can now rely on you for. And so if you can practice, build your personal confidence in creating the media, you will help your customers and your clients also gain that trust of you as the expert because if you're willing to put in the effort to create a video a podcast or any kind of information that you're providing to them and you're doing it really well you're going to impress people you're going to wow your peers you're actually going to have people that are attracted to what you're doing and your personality how you work what you're doing it's not necessarily about just blasting stuff into the internet you have to be able to curate it build it grow it, but also be performing at your very best to provide that kind of trust and intimacy that these clients are looking for, your clients are looking for. So if you like this video and you like these descriptions, follow along at compass-tower.com and look for more ongoing tips and tricks to help you grow and get above the 
noise of the online forest.